Pete is obviously an incredible talent, but he was kind of learning on the fly as he went. What's what's the biggest difference do you think is going to be in having a guy like Ted that at running the line that yes. has seen it all? Oh, yeah, no. I mean, I think, you know, it's real self-explanatory with uh, Ted, man. He's somebody that's been around the game for a while, played in some prolific offenses as well. And, uh, you know, I think the biggest thing about his game is he's been very consistent um, in, in his production. And, you know, he's continued to get better each and every year. Uh, he's a tough player that loves the game, that knows where everyone is. And, uh, man, I mean, I think he, he has all the intangibles to be one of the greats. You had a chance to sit down and talk to him, not ball, but just man to man, and oh, yeah. I mean, early impressions of him. And yeah, no, man, great dude, great dude, great man. Uh, one of his close friends or roommates in, in New England was Joe Tooney, who played next to me for the last two years that I got to know really well. So they, he spoke really highly of him. I had another teammate, Nick Allegretti, that spoke really highly of Ted as well from Illinois. So uh, I mean, nothing but great things to say about him. Did you say this is the first time that you've been in a city in the off season? Uh, I mean, so you know, in Kansas City, uh, my first year, you could say yeah. Uh, before that, it was COVID. Last year, I was going through the franchise stuff, so I was in Miami. So um, you know, and then my my first year or my first off season, obviously rookie year, second year, but it's been a while since like I've been able to you know be in a city, be in a city for OTAs, hang out with the guys, get to know my coaches, and all that different stuff. Yeah. You're a great communicator. I mean, do you do you like over communicate at the line of scrimmage? Are you talking a lot? Yeah, I mean, at some point it's got to be you know all body language. You know what I mean? He's seeing what I'm seeing. He's feeling what I'm feeling. Um, you know, I, I I don't mind vocalizing. You know what I mean? I play next to some guys I have to, but uh, you know, I prefer to you know what I mean we kind of see it, feel it together, and kind of go from there. You know, because sometimes over communicating, you know, you might confuse yourself. So. <laughs> You're a guy who plays with a chip on his shoulder, dating back to the draft process. Do you still have that, even after signing this deal? And if so, why? Yeah, no, man. I mean, ultimately for me, uh, you know, my end goal in this sport is to be a to have a gold jacket on. And you know, no matter how much money I make, um, that's not necessarily my end goal. You know what I mean? Like I'm in this for Super Bowls. I'm in this for All Pros. I'm in this for Pro Bowls. I'm in this to have the best offensive line in the world. And that's what means the most to me is to be able to have an opportunity to suit up for this franchise, to suit up blocking for guys like nine. Um, you know, that's what's most important to me. I know you heard or are you aware of the history? Have you heard from Anthony Munoz or Willie Anderson or Andrew Whitworth? Yeah, no. So I talked to Whit um, right when I signed. Uh, you know, man, that was somebody, like, as a player I've looked up to my whole life and career just because of the similarities in uh, body makeup, arm length, uh, you know, skill set, intangibles, all those different things. But um, I haven't had the opportunity to talk to Munoz, another guy that I watched a ton of, Willie Anderson, a uh, guy I spent some time with uh, as a young pup. So, um, yeah, man, I mean, it, it's crazy how many greats have come through here at the tackle position. Bengals, Chiefs rivalry kind of thing that's kind of perked up the last two seasons. Now you've seen it from both sides. I mean, it's only day one here, I get it. But is it is it kind of strange uh, knowing you know it from that side, now you're on this side? Yeah, it's definitely strange. Um, you know, it's it's one of those things, though, man. I'm, I'm just I'm happy to, to be in this position, uh, to be able to play, you know, left tackle for an organization like this, man. I, I, I can't say... I can't say enough great things about the Cincinnati Bengals. So, man, I'm happy to be on this side of it. Did you always picture yourself in the AFC North? Yeah, no doubt. <laughs> no doubt. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs>